And I can feature lean startup. All right, perfect. The lean startup. Eric. How do you spell his name? Eric. All right, yes. All right, we're gonna. Well, then I can just do startup generally. There. So I've got a good size audience. All right, so I can feature the lean startup. Feature the lean startup to lean startup startup company and the lean startup. Let me show you what I'm doing over here. Let me save this just in case. I have battery backup on. I have battery backup on my computer, so I'm not worried about that, but I still save things just in case. Alright, so I've got the feature the e myth to entrepreneurship. Feature the power to the secret audience. Feature rich dad, poor dad to that audience and maybe adds finance or something. Uh, success. Now I need to find what to feature on success. Feature Katie Couric's book to Katie Couric and maybe advice or something. So I've got around 10 ideas. What I need to figure out, I need to buff these two up a little bit. So let's take a quick look and see. Success. All right, let's try I know finance is a huge one. That's not how I spell finance, is it? Finance. There we go. <laughs> now that's huge. Now probably I'd rather do personal finance, right? Alright, so personal finance is huge. And personal finance, alright. Now I need to find more success. Let me just try success and see what else comes up. Success Magazine, Brainy Quote. Is there anyone else big in? Oh, maybe I could do a TED Talk for success. There, let's just try TED. There, now I would think a lot of the people interested in TED, I might be able to grab under success. But what book do I feature for success? Ooh, a four hour work week might be a good one. Or in the Plex, I might be able to do a Google audience within the Plex. I'd like to do both of those too. So let's see 4-Hour Workweek. I got Ted. Let me add that. Feature 4-Hour Workweek. And now I need to check and see if 4-Hour Workweek. It's got a decent size audience on here. I can throw that in too. Great. I'm going to throw one more in. The more you do, it only takes one to work really well. So I want to try, uh, let me see about habits. So, uh, all right, I'm stuck between, do I do the seven habits of highly effective people? I don't know exactly which of these to do. I hope my image will get approved by Google or a Facebook because sometimes if there's too much text on a book cover they might not allow it but I guess we'll find out right I can always do a picture of the author too I would guess especially if they're on Wikipedia then I can get a Creative Commons picture like for lean in that might work really good if the book's got a lot of text on the cover or I could do ooh there see if I have a Wikipedia picture of uh, Katie Couric maybe yeah then I could use that in an ad probably because it's yeah there's a couple of pictures in Wikipedia so those are usually Creative Commons Yeah, it's a Wikipedia Commons. 
All right, so I could use either of these pictures. Okay, good. All right, so I can put pictures in on the posts. All right, now I think I've done enough research to actually start on the campaigns here. So after, what are we at, an hour? I'm actually going to make some Facebook ad campaigns. My clients always ask, well, what do you do? Or, well, this is, this is what I do. You do the research first. So then we start on the actual Facebook ad campaign. So I want to leave that window open in case I need it. And I'm out of soda already. I guess I should grab another one. Now I'm going to go to the power editor. Man, I can talk a lot. My grandfather used to call me gums. <laughs> now, what I need to do, download to the power editor. I only want to download within the past month to get the best performance. You see, I still managed to have all these ad images and such. Well, now I want to make all these new ad campaigns that I gave some ideas for with you. I want to find ways to make these ad campaigns. Hopefully the pictures will get approved. That's what I really need is the pictures to get approved. As Google some or Facebook sometimes will not allow pictures to go through because they have too much text on them. So I want to create a new campaign and I like to do website conversions because I have conversion tracking set up. So we're going to call this top 25 success books. Pretty sure I hit end home. That doesn't work, Facebook. Well, that's got, can someone fix that in the coding department? I have to go back through and type at the beginning every time. Okay. Website conversions. Now, let's go into ad sets. I need a new ad set. Now, which one do I want to do? I want to create new website conversions. I'm going to call this, which one of these is going to be the easiest to start with? I want to do something that's fairly simple to begin, you know. I'll go hit a little bunt to get started, if you will. I feel like the power of vulnerability should be easy. Oh shoot, not that. Uh, where's that one? Yeah, the power. That's got. I shouldn't have a problem with the cover image. So let's do the power. And I'll just put the author's name too, so I remember that's by the lady that wrote the secret. Oh, I don't want to create a new ad campaign. Whoops. All right, I want to use existing, and I want to name the ad set. Oh, what, wait, watch this. Oh, no, Facebook, stop. All right. There we go. Now, I've got that done. Now, I need to go into the ads. And I'm going to put all these at $5 a day to get started. Because I just want to see when they'll actually run. So now I go into the ads. Now we need to create a new ad. And let's go to the power. Create, and now what I need to do, I need to make a, now I link it to my page, and I need to make this into a dark post. Create unpublished post. Now here's the real meat and potatoes of this. Now I need to save this image, because I'm going to use this in a minute. I don't, I want to save it in the downloads folder. I want to... All right, I'm going to just drag this out of here because I don't need this anymore. I'm going to drag this into my other window. And I'll drag Katie Kirk out of here too. All right, URL. Up 25 success books. Link. I just want a link. So I want don't I have a read more Facebook uh, maybe I don't want a button. All right, post text. We'll do that in a minute. Headline. We'll do that too. Display link. Let's put JerryBanfield.com on the display link. Description. 
Now, I want to upload a picture. Let's try that. Now, the, the tough thing is you can go through and do all this sometimes, so I'm going to make a little notepad file over here in case I screw this up and have to do this again. Wouldn't want that. I never screw anything up, do I? Now, I'm talking directly to people who have read The Secret and that love... I'm not even going to butcher her name. The author of The Secret. This is a book of hers, The Power. And so I'm talking directly to them about why they should come see my list. So I want... What am I going to tell them? If you liked The Secret... Alright, so I want to talk straight to her audience. Now I have to remember how to spell her name, so let's look over here. Whoops. There we go. All right, so that's pretty simple, right? If you like The Secret, you might enjoy this top 25 books list, which features Rhonda Barnes' new book, The Power. Top 25 success book list, which features Rhonda Barnes' new book, The Power. Based on the same principles based on the law of attraction and power of love. Perfect. And there, then I could put link headline, top 25 success books to read in 2014. You want to And now I want to see if I can communicate in the link description how this could appeal, what what I want in the link description. So if I go over to my Facebook profile, which you want to make sure not to close the window in there, so I'm going to go drag a new one in, and I'm going to go to my home page, and I want to see what link description that I actually put in here. Where is my post on my news feed? Gosh darn it. It comes up in the news feed. Let me try, try my wife's Facebook page. No, it didn't come up on that one either. All right, well, what I need is a... I had a good link description of it, but I guess I want to customize it for the audience of the power. And I want to communicate the value you get out of reading this list. So let's go, let's look what these here. Let's try that. These book, each of these books, they helped me be a better husband, family member, a better husband, successfully grow my online business, and conquer my alcoholism. There we go. So the, this is, I wish I could preview this ad Facebook if anyone at headquarters is watching this. I would love a preview button right now because you can see I've committed a lot by now. So what I can do in case I effed this post up, which is certainly effing possible, I go through and paste every single part of this into a notepad document. I'll just show you real quick what that looks like. So... In the event I completely screwed the pooch, this little notepad post, I can easily go back and make this again. 
And actually, I don't know why I wouldn't do this in Microsoft Word also. That way, if I screwed anything up, spell, I'm just used to using Notepad. But that way, now you can see, it doesn't look like I spelled misspelled anything, so that's good. All right, now the moment of truth. Let's create post and see how this thing looks. Please don't look god awful. Um, what do you think? That looks pretty good. I think that looks pretty solid right there. If you like the secret, you might enjoy this top 25 success book list, which features Rhonda Burns' new book, The Power, based on the law of attraction and the power of love. Boom. All right. That's, I think that's good. And I, if this works beautiful or sucks, I can always adjust. So, there. Right column. Um, do you think I want this in the right column? Nope. Am I going to put this in a news feed and let Facebook charge me an arm and a leg? That's a good question. That is a real good question. Uh, the problem is sometimes the news feed works good, but usually the news feed is more expensive. But I'm going to split test this first round of campaigns and see where this works better. So I'm going to I'm going to edge my bets. And I'm going to put my conversion tracking pixel on so I can see if someone uses this and then goes to my biography or my contact me page, I'm going to count that as they went converted. So there, I've got my new dark post here. I think that's pretty good. What I, I've got everything done in the targeting now on... Uh, the placement, what I need to do now is pick my audience. So remember that painstaking research we did that made you want to poke your eyes out sometimes? Now I go back to that Word document and I grab the audience. I'm doing only 26 and above and I'm grabbing interests. I'm going to just put English because I'm going to copy these. I'm going to copy these to a Europe audience too. All right, now I put in the interests. I uh, where is the where is that the secret? And I'm gonna put all the secrets in the book. Where is the where's the rest of my data on this? There, Rhonda. I'm not I'm not gonna do it again. I can't. All right, 2.4 million. Is there anything else? Maybe the power is in here. Um, I don't see it. Okay, so there we go. 2.4 million people, very targeted ad. Focused exactly, hopefully, on what they want. Okay. And these can target people that like my page too, which is good. Now, optimization and pricing. I'm going to do the optimized CPM here. I want to do it by conversion tracking. And I'll just use default bids. And so hopefully this will work. Let's see what happens. Now, I should have done all this right. Now, hopefully, it should be a little faster to make some of these next ones. But this, this takes a lot of work to go in and make some of these campaigns like this, too. Some of the campaigns, I, all right, let's, let's, what's the error? I chose a conversion tracking pixel, Facebook. Where is there not a conversion tracking pixel that's chosen? I've chosen one on all of them. I'm going to try and upload this. I chose a conversion tracking pixel on all parts of this ad campaign. There, see, it was wrong about that error.